Salt Lake County is closing a loophole that allows the sale of firearms without background checks at gun shows. But not everybody is happy with this change. Guns. Rocky Mountain Gun Show. It's a familiar jingle on TV and radio, but today Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson announced a change for the Rocky Mountain Gun Show and other firearms conventions. Starting next month, background checks will be required of every person buying a firearm at events held at Salt Lake County owned facilities. While licensed gun dealers are required to conduct background checks, private sellers at the shows are not, which doesn't sit well with the mayor. In the sale of a firearm to someone with a violent criminal record or history of domestic abuse is a risk we cannot accept in Salt Lake County. Outside Monday's news conference, the chairman of the Utah Shooting Sports Council, Clark Apogian, told reporters that Mayor Wilson's new policy misses the mark. I think it's a solution to a problem we don't have. Our gun deaths are from suicide, they're from domestic violence, homicide, then suicide, and a small number from gang violence. But none, and the mayor could not find any example, even one example, of a firearm being purchased, private transaction, at a gun show that has resulted in a crime. Rocky Mountain Gun Shows. Ocean says that gun laws are up to the state and federal governments, not local counties, and he feels the legislature will force Salt Lake County to stop this new policy, which is scheduled to go into effect January 1st.